Hi guys, Danny here and welcome to my test world where I am testing out this little setup to use an extractor. Now there are other methods obviously like using the hydrokinetic engine but I used the hydrokinetic engine last time and the hydrokinetic engine produces 500,000 uh, watts so you'll need eight hydrokinetic engines to power a uh, the extractor and even then you'll have to uh, mess around with the um, the speed and the torque and things like that so instead I decided to go with the already the system that I already had up which was solar towers so oh, I'm going to burn it. now there are a couple of things that I found out number one there is a cap um, from what I can see, the cap is uh, 9, but I talked to Reika and he said the cap wasn't 9, so I'm not very sure. I'll show you what, I'm, what I mean. If I right click there, it's a solar plant containing 43 mirrors and 9 active tire pieces, and you can see the output as 1441. If I go up here and destroy one of these guys, you can see that it went down. So if I just take a solar tower and put it on top of that guy, I should go back to what I was before, like that. Oh yeah, the, if you get in the line with the mirrors, you get, you know, uh, set on fire, so that's always a bad thing. Uh, one, four, four, one. So now if I put another one there, uh, it doesn't go up any higher. So for everything after that, you don't, you know, get any extra power. So nine is the optimum one. I still don't understand how the cap works, but you know, it's there. Uh, however, you can add as much mirrors as you want to. Uh, but that's the. I wouldn't say the deciding factor because. Uh, the solar mirrors have two recipes. If I go there, you can see that it's mirror, which you can just use iron and glass for. Um, this just uses steel. This is the one that's expensive. Expensive being a relative term here. You don't have to use the enderpearl recipe. You have the recipe down here. So your uh, limiting factor would be how much steel you have and how much electrum you have. So, you know, if you're around mid-game, you will have a lot of gold and silver. So you can make the electrum. So it's not really that bad, so, you know, you can still produce a pretty good amount of power. Like right now, I'm producing uh, one megawatt. You know, that's pretty insane. Uh, and if I um, add a lot more mirrors, I can produce the four million uh, watts that I need directly. However, the build I'm testing out right now is one that I can implement directly into my system. And because I already have a hydrogen uh, generator already producing extra power, it's on, you know, all the time. And I'm not using the power all the time, so I thought, huh, why not just use it? I have an elite energy cube here because that's what I'm using in my base, in my play world. And yeah, uh, I could have showed this in my play world, but... Uh, there have been a lot of changes in the play world, so it wouldn't fit in the episode if I did all that. So I decided just to make a little um, extra t extra thing. So this is how it goes. Um, the the really really good thing is all I need to do is have this at its highest setting. And then get a 1 to 4 to 1 gearbox, so it basically converts the torque uh, into 1 fourth that and multiplies that by 4, which is exactly what is needed for the extractor. And then you just supply in the, in the power, and everything is fine and dandy. So, as you can see right now, there isn't a drain. If I have one, two, three, four, five hydrogen uh, generators, there isn't a drain on the energy cube. What I can also do is link these two guys up. So if I just get a universal cable, 
Oh, by the way, um, this is uh, the unupdated version of mechanism. There is an update out. I explained that um, I did update it, but it corrupted my world, and um, it clashed with like chicken bones's uh, chicken bones. Yeah, chicken bones's mod, and it didn't. You know, my my uh, world just didn't load at all. So I still have the previous version up. But it, it should still work even with the new version. So basically I have a thing over there which converts the um, shaft fire into redstone flux. Again, because this guy is nerfed. Um, it, okay, it doesn't actually affect it because... Whoa, okay. It doesn't actually affect the uh, this guy because... Uh, the max is like 8,000 uh, speed and 8,000 torque and it's not really at 8,000 speed and torque, it's around 1,000 each. So I'm fine with that. Whoops. The other thing about the solar tower is that its efficiency goes down when the sun is not out. So, you know, to use it as a primary uh, battery filler, okay, yeah, I guess I could call it that, is not really, you know, not really optimum. However, uh, if you're not going to have the extractor running all the time, if you are, then you're just going to need a lot more uh, hydrogen generators. The reason I decided to go with hydrogen generators is because I don't have to give them anything. I can just supply them with power and they just do everything by themselves. Um, it's a mix between being lazy and uh, striving for automation. I think something just exploded. No? Okay. Well. Like I was saying, oh, and this guy, you only need to put lubricant in once. Uh, thanks to whoever suggested that, I was actually very much against using this uh, gearboxes, but someone told me uh, that um, you can just put one bucket of lubricant in there and you'll run forever. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it, yeah, I, I don't actually remember what the name was, it's still quite early here. And uh, yeah, so this is my build. And like I was saying, uh, because I have that guy connected, uh, okay, it, I can change it to noon anytime I want, so I should have that there, okay. And there isn't a net loss, so let me see if I destroy one of these guys. There still isn't a net loss. Yeah, let's try another one of these guys. Okay, this will either even out or drain a really, 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 really small amount. Either way, I'm completely fine. Okay. Okay, it's draining a ridiculously small amount. So that's a um, solar tower with... Uh, what is this? Uh, 43 mirrors and 9 active solar tower pieces. Now, the other thing you can do is just, you know, have a couple of these guys, which, would, which wouldn't which would be a bad option. Because, like I said, you don't have to do anything for these guys. You just need to supply them with power, have the mirrors around it, and it'll just keep producing power. If I check up on this guy again, a really, really small drain, a very manageable drain. And if this is, say, morning... Uh, I say morning because then it wouldn't be in its full efficiency. It's only around 73%. So if I go check up on this, um, and if I go to night, dusk, check up on this again, small, tiny, tiny drain. Now, the weird thing about the solar tower is I've noticed that it works even when it's dark out. Uh, as in, even if it's completely dark, even if the the moon is just straight up, uh, it is producing a very, 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 very small amount of power, but it does produce power. In fact, let me show it. Midnight. There you go. 10% efficiency. There is always, like, I think, 10% efficiency while producing uh, power, even when the sun isn't out. I'm assuming it's the moon. Even though the moon doesn't really produce heat, I guess uh, Reika added in this function just so the solar tower doesn't stop completely. So this is what I wanted to test out next. Um, when the solar power solar tower is out, there should be a, a drain on this, right? 
So then it becomes dawn and then the drain becomes smaller and then it becomes noon and then the drain gets even smaller. Um, so if I sleep it out it should be fine. I basically wanted to see that even if I wasn't around uh, you know to go to sleep at night and therefore uh, keep the extractor on in the m night time it wouldn't completely drain my el elite energy cube. Alternatively I could just have more of these guys that's always an option. They're not too expensive and they produce a pretty ridiculous amount of power so yeah I could totally do that. All I'd really need is two um, electrolytic separators I think that's what they're called in the in the mod as well supplying them with the necessary hydrogen I think two can I can make two work for three generators and maybe a couple of solar uh, generators that come with mechanism and yeah with just that I can work the extractor uh, if you guys watched my uh, last season of my let's play you c you'd know that I couldn't go as far as uh, creating the extractor pretty sad as well because I was using the magnetostatic engine and it was a lot more um, uh, configurable then still uh, with just one gearbox that you don't have to constantly supply with lubricant you can make it work and you can either use five of these hydrogen generators or you can just use a pretty large solar tower now like I was saying and uh, the solar tower is pretty underappreciated I think even I wouldn't think highly of it until you know I started using it and the setting things on fire is always a always a negative but because my let's play is in like the middle of an ocean it's like this random forest that shouldn't really be a problem okay here we go I just throw in a lot more mirrors those guys turn around and they should be producing a ridiculous amount of power and there you go I just doubled my output well not doubled it but you know now it's around uh, 2 megawatts so if I add uh, a lot more mirrors I can actually produce the 4 uh, megawatts necessary to run the extractor and because the uh, because the uh, the speed is 1024 radians per second I need 8 if I just have the 1 to 8 gearbox converting the torque directly into radians per second I can run the extractor directly so yeah there's another option uh, shouldn't be that expensive uh, three this would probably use maybe a stack stack and a half of electrum and like I said that's not really hard to get so yeah that's all I wanted to share with you guys just a random build that I had in mind and that I will be implementing uh, probably going to be combining the uh, solar tower with the hydrogen generators because that seems the most viable I can't just have the solar generator because like I mentioned when the Sun is out um, I won't be able to produce enough power to keep the extractor running and to keep my uh, energy cube fully stocked so yeah uh, thanks guys for watching.